Happy National Wolf Awareness Week, everybody. We have been celebrating all week long here at the Detroit Zoo, and we would like you all at home to meet the two wolves who live at the Cotton Family Wolf Wilderness. Meet Casca, the male wolf who calls the Detroit Zoo home. He was born in 2010 and has lived here since 2015. He is a little more shy and cautious of the two, but he'll still come out and say hello, and he can be easily recognized by his darker fur. Renner, who is six years younger than Casca, arrived in 2019. She's a little more curious, and you can often see her approaching the viewing windows to take a closer look at the guests. Wolves unfortunately get a bad reputation for myths, misconceptions, and a lot of the fables and folktales we were told growing up. I'm sure we've all heard of the Big Bad Wolf, Little Red Riding Hood, and the Boy Who Cried Wolf. But look at these two. They would never do any of the things in those stories. But wolves aren't even big or bad, and they aren't even harmful to humans. In fact, there has never been a recorded wolf attack in the state of Michigan. So it seems a lot of the fear around wolves is actually misplaced. In fact, gray wolves now occupy only a small percentage of their former range. As human populations increased across the Americas, wolves were seen as competitors for food because they would sometimes attack livestock and as a threat to human safety. But like I said earlier, there has never been a recorded wolf attack on a human in Michigan, and attacks on livestock are often rare and uncommon. Regardless of these facts, gray wolves were still persecuted in the U.S. until the 1970s when they were protected by the Endangered Species Act. Even more sad, the gray wolf went extinct in Michigan, and they did not return until 1989. Their numbers have since rebounded, and now we have an estimated 695 wolves living in our state. So why should we care about wolves? Well, let's travel to Isle Royale, a national park in the state of Michigan, to get a better understanding. Wolves are a keystone species, which means they help hold an ecosystem together. By regulating prey populations like moose and deer, wolves enable other species of plants and animals to flourish. This graph shows the wolf population in blue and the moose population in yellow. As the wolf population dropped in Isle Royale, the moose population skyrocketed. With the massive increase in moose, they started to overgraze the island and destroy the plant life. In 2018, more wolves were brought to the island to help restore the balance of the ecosystem, and the moose population has started to decrease for the first time in a decade. Wolves really are that important for the ecosystem. I will leave you all with a fun fact. Despite popular belief, wolves don't actually howl at the moon. Wolves howl to solidify pack bonds and warn other wolf packs to stay away. Happy National Wolf Awareness Week!